the patterns of a mature deer and kind of the way I've kind of always envisioned is the deer really has three distinct patterns. It's a bedding pattern, it's a feeding pattern, it has a breeding pattern. And at different times of the year, those are going to dictate how you set up on him and how mm -hmm. you're hunting him. So I think I know what your answer would be, but in your opinion, like what's the most important out of those three? The bedding pattern, yeah. for sure. Yeah. And in your opinion, when a buck's kind of deciding where he beds, mm -hmm. what is he looking for? Well, uh, that's a pretty complex question. I mean, it depends a lot on your terrain mm -hmm. and uh, wind direction, things like that. Um, he's looking for a place where nobody goes. And uh, I shouldn't say nobody, there's no place where nobody goes. Mm -hmm. But a place that gets disturbed very little by people. I call it like an overlooked spot. I mean, we just talked about a buck I shot out here 75 yards from the road. Well, nobody goes over there. They all go way back, you know, or they go a little ways and over to the side. Uh, they find those little overlooked spots, but you still need the terrain that a deer needs in that spot. So what is that terrain that he's looking for? Um, cover or whatever. Yeah, thick cover. Um, you know, they, they like to, uh, in this swamp terrain, for instance, uh, people think they're in the middle of thick. They usually aren't. Big bucks are on the edge of it. And they like the downwind edges. They like to look out into open areas and have the thick to their back with the wind coming out of the thick. And when you start getting into that, now you can start predicting where they're gonna be based on the wind. You know, because the wind's gonna be coming out of the thick and they're gonna be on the edge, you know. How does that change in, as, you, as you've seen in hill country? I mean, when you're hunting hill country, how are they bedding in that? Well, in, in hill country, they're bedding on leeward sides. And uh, the big bucks, almost always are um, every time I find one he's in a leeward edge and again it's usually an overlooked one I find a lot of them right by the road I can think of one uh, public property I go into where I go in a low area and then you got 400 acres well the biggest buck in that property is almost always on the ridge overlooking the parking lot because he can see the parking lot from, the, from where he beds so you can't really go up the hill and hunt him you have to go way out and come around and come back and get him from a side and nobody does that so he doesn't get harassed there you know um but it's a leeward side and uh they still like the thickness um what i think they really like the most is thick above and open below they like to get right up against that thick and look below them um where i've helped people with uh land management if we put thick from about the one-third elevation up, they really get the bedding on those uh, leeward sides. And they'll bed right in that edge. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Do you think that a deer is traditionally bedding in one area? As far as, he might have multiple beds in an area, but do you think he's in one kind of core area? Or do you think that that changes? Well, I think it changes per deer and, and per age class. Um, I see older deer um, which is probably the opposite of what most people are thinking, kind of lock into areas. Mm -hmm. um, I think they're easier to hunt in bedding areas because they do lock in an area and it's hard to kick them out of them. Um, where younger bucks are more sporadic, moving around a lot. Um, but I do think most of your big bucks got a lot of bedding areas. Um, there's a lot of places they bed based on like uh, seasonal, like food or rut or those type of things, but there's certain beds that they use a lot, which I call primary. And I think a buck probably has 10, 15 of those, you know, and, and that's kind of what I key in on. 